Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this reaction video. We are reacting to the EP or short slash short film by country music singer Kelsey Ballerini. This is called Rolling Up the Welcome Mat. I believe there are seven songs on this EP, all of which have their own individual music video that when put together create a 20 minute and 35 second short film. And it's my understanding that these songs and this project as a whole are inspired by her divorce to fellow country music singer Morgan Evans, who uh, is a country music singer from Australia. He had a crossover hit here in the U.S. called Kiss Somebody about four or five years ago. And uh, they dated, they were married, and they got divorced. And I guess he he wrote a song about it without her knowing. And I guess I, uh, I'm guessing it was very contentious. Um, but yeah, that's the context going into this. Um, my history with Kelsey Ballerini's music is kind of tenuous. I did a scathing review of her self-titled album that came out in early 2020. I gave it a 1 out of 5, and I stand by my uh, my gripes with that album. I thought she was trying to be like a carbon copy of of uh, Taylor Swift, all the way down to the same like kind of vocal tonality in her voice. And... Um, I've thought, like, the bulk of her work was, like, very brainless, fluffy country pop. Songs like Miss Me More and Peter Pan, Love You, uh, Yeah Boy, Dibs, Love Me Like You Mean It. I mean, if it's your cup of tea, more power to you. But, I, again, that, that's pretty much, I, I don't I don't want to be repetitious right off the bat, but that's pretty much the best way I could describe my my contentions with her music. Kind of brainless fluff, airheaded. But I think that will, I, I think she'll turn the tide here. I'm... Guessing that I'm about to see Miss Ballerini in a whole new light. So without any further ado, let's dive in. I just thought you were on the red eye. Okay. No, I'm not I'm not mad. I just I just haven't seen you. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. I think this first song is called Mount Mountain with a View. I like those synths right off the bat. Very uh, purposeful, I think. couple of things stand out right off the bat um all those gripes that i mentioned earlier about her previous music i stand by them but immediately throw them out the window this is already i can tell a concerted effort on her part to you know take something you know very personal you know that happened to her and using it as a template to craft something very pal palatable and purposeful and <clears throat> excuse me you know it's not it's not brainless uh, radio fodder filler country pop anymore like I think she actually is now finding a niche that works for her as an artist like a, a like a more 
like a popular brand of country music, but it's purposeful and there's a lot of identity and like there's a lot of there there. So yeah, it's good to see. Let's continue. Sorry, I keep adjusting the volume, I just want to make sure it's not too low or too loud. <laughs> what I like about that first song, Mountain with a View, is there was no bombastic crescendo. Which is a good thing, because I feel like something like that would have totally ruined the intimacy of the song. But uh, let's continue. Just Married, Chapter 2. Someone who's never had a real serious romantic relationship myself, but has been, you know, with family and friends, been a fly on the wall for many a tumultuous breakup in my day. This, you know, this imagery of the husband pi physically piling on the, the dinner plates for her to wash and clean, it hits really close to home. How many times have we seen the, like... Like, in a relationship, the man pawning off the cooking and the cleaning and the homemaking responsibilities off to the woman. Like, how often have we seen that? It hits it hits way too close to home. We see it way too often. <laughs> uh, and, like, and it's a metaphor, too. Like, it's, like, in both ways. Like, he he's physically pawning off, like, the homemaking responsibilities, but also, like, in a figurative sense, you know, just, like, the, it, it goes from, yeah, it was love, but now it's just married. It's now, it, like, they're still married. 
and there's still rings on their fingers, but it's a loveless relationship. And that just, I can't imagine what that was like for her. And the plates keep coming. That this hook, yo, know, yeah, it was love. Now it's now it's just married. This whole hook in particular, this whole section of the song, is a beautiful piece of pop country. The production, the vocals, the vocal layering, the 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 synths, I guess what you call them, the background, the atmosphere. Um, I'd say I guess it's a like a serious like attempt at a, a reinvention of her identity as an artist. Like this is so far beyond the less than surface level material that I get that I mentioned of her earlier career that I had a lot of issues with. And like, this is more, I'd say of a comparison to Taylor Swift in a good way. Like not, not simply trying to mimic something she did, but channeling her abilities to write songs and weave a story. And like, I think of like some of the more brilliant, songwriters in popular music in the 21st century taylor swift avril lavigne um maybe olivia rodrigo or billy eilish to a lesser extent because those are newer acts don't really have the staying power of others but that's the kind of vibe that this solicits like succeeding in simplicity no again no bombastic crescendos no giant you know selling points and not beating you over the head with the thesaurus in terms of lyrical content, just telling the story as it happened, simply and plainly. And that's honestly, in this case, the most effective way of driving the point home. It's brilliant stuff. Finally fall. We moved to a place with a view off of Eighth Avenue after we said I do, and we watched cars of bachelorettes, two AM cigarettes, and traffic headed downtown. And the interstate was so loud. There was a lot it had to drown out.
They, they take the physical remnants of what was supposed to be a long, prosperous relationship. God love her. There's a victory at the end, but a bit of a, a touch of sweetness with all the melancholy. I thought he was going to take the ring off. 17 minutes. An interlude. blindsided even the most overt pop sensibilities here are genuinely interesting this is the music she should be making all along but good for her and good for her for leaving him This sounds kind of tepidly upbeat, so here I am nodding my head. Okay to cry, dying inside. 
Her voice has improved a lot over the years. Only that guitar. Five minutes left. I am trying to mentally prepare myself for what's left, but I'm loving it so far. And that's right. Turn the lights off. Don't kiss her. Don't communicate. Don't do nothing. Here I am getting it's acting, and here I am getting emotionally invested. But I'm sure it's a accurate. It's it's definitely accurate representation of what their relationship was actually like. What we got next, Kelsey? All right, my camera actually died now. We're up in my room. I gave it a few minutes to charge, and we're going to continue. Believe me again. I hope you're spending Christmas with your family. I hope you're writing songs that you love. I hope you're feeling happier than you've ever been. And I hope I never leave me again. I hope you're hiking that old trail in Westmead And I hope you and Jane are talking more I hope the top is off the Jeep and you're driving in the wind And I hope I never leave me again This is what Miss Me More should have been But then I outgrew it And staying only made me Get real good at pretend So I hope I never leave me again I hope I remember all the pieces Of who I was that I lost on the way I hope I learned to love myself like I loved you then. And I hope I never leave me again. For a while the shoe fit, yeah. But then I outgrew it. And staying only made me get real good at 
She's good at writing clocks. So I hope I never leave me again. I hope when I see you that you smile. I hope that you find somebody. She's being the bigger person. Another example of succeeding with the simplicity. It's not trying to force an aesthetic, it's real and palpable, palpable, it's from the heart. This is her best work ever by a mile and a half. Almost done. I guess this is the last song. Back to those scents. It's very good stuff. This is her best work by mile and a half. This is premium pop country. This is this is like definitive pop country. This is what that bent, that version of the genre can and should be when it's done right. Good on her for making some brilliant music and I hope she continues to recover from her contentious divorce and I hope she comes out the other end if she hasn't already. But that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. Fuck, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified when video drops. See you back here in the next one. Take care.